What up, YouTubers and YouTubettes? So, today I'm going to be making or extracting lidocaine. Um, I'm basically going to be copying Nile Red's version of extracting lidocaine, but my version of me doing his process. So, much like him, I'm using um, Passion's Lube. Uh, and so, when I ordered mine online, it said that it was the extra strength, blah, blah, but so. The stuff that I ended up getting was only 3%. And so it's partly my fault because I didn't ask the guy, but he said that it was the highest strength stuff on his ad, and so he basically lied to me. But it is what it is. And so, anyways, so, so I put um, all the solution that came in the, in the tube of passion into this boiling flask, and then I rinsed it with a little bit of distilled water and put that in there. And so then I made a solution of um, saturated sodium hydroxide in distilled water. And so I've got that stirring so that way the, um, the lube and the water that I put in there become a homogeneous mixture. And so now I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide into the solution which is going to crash out the lidocaine. And so now I'm going to add sodium hydroxide to this solution slowly over a period of time until I achieve a pH of 14 because at that point um, all the lidocaine should be crashed out. And so then I'm going to start filtering it. And so um, just so you can see, I mean I want to get a funnel set up in the two hands and stuff but... As you can see, it comes right out. So, uh, anyways, I'll be back once I get all this in there and tested it. All right, so I made I'm at a pH 14 and I've stopped stirring, and you can see that it's separating out into um, a couple different, two different layers or so, which is fine. And if your mixture got t too thick, you could add more distilled water because the whole point of this is to make it. Uh, the lidocaine in here insoluble in water and so once you get to this point now we're gonna filter it and I'm gonna use vacuum filtration and I recommend you do because it'd be incredibly slow without it um, and so once I get it uh, distilled I mean not distilled once I get it vacuumed I'll be right back alright so I got my first um, filtration done and so then I took my lidocaine and I added it to a bunch of distilled water. And so now I'm going to vacuum filter this again. And um, when I get done with that, I'll be back. All right, I'm done vacuum distilling for the second time. And so now what I'm going to do to finish purifying it um, is I'm going to recrystallize it. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to add ethanol um, a little bit at a time until I dissolve all of the lidocaine um, and then once I have it all dissolved then I'm gonna crash it out with distilled water again um, anyways once I start adding the ethanol and get it dissolved I'll be back and so I actually don't have ethanol but I kind of do so what I'm actually gonna use is Everclear um, which will dissolve it um, but yeah, so anyways, that's what I'm going to use. So anyways, I'll be back. Alright, so that's it. I got it all dissolved. Um, looks like maybe 120 milliliters of Everclear. And um, so now I'm going to add water, distilled water, and crash out the lidocaine. And then I'm going to filter it one last time, and that's the whole process. So um, once I uh, have it crashed out, then I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to start filtering. I'll be back. Alright, so I got them all crashed out. Um, let's see, it's probably 450 mLs uh, total now. So 300 milliliters of water was added. And um, the needles, are, or the crystals are needle-like. Very clear. And um, so now I'm going to vacuum filter this one last time. And uh, I'll be back at that point. Alright, and that's it. That's all my lidocaine right there. And so now, 
what I'm going to do to make sure that I've added enough water is I'm going to take this and go add some more water to it to make sure, see if anything crashes out. And then that water I'm going to put in my fridge also for an hour or two just in case something else crashes out. But uh, I don't think it's going to. I've done this process before, and so that's that. And uh, so, anyways, till the next one, guys.